Yes, behind me, Europe's single biggest emitter of carbon dioxide greenhouse gas, the gigantic Belhatov coal power plant. Now, the whole point of the COP conference is, of course, to keep temperatures to below 1.5 degrees of warming. That means shutting coal-fired power stations like these as fast as possible. Well, today we had another stark warning from the UN under current plans submitted by countries going into the COP climate summit. We're headed towards 2.7 degrees of warning, not the 1.5. That, scientists will tell you, it would lead to catastrophic conditions. As hosts, the UN government has repeatedly said that their priorities for the summit are coal, cars, cash and trees. So to that first point then, coal. Here in Poland, 80% of electricity still generated by coal. So transitioning to renewables will not be easy. Five times bigger than an average power station, producing a fifth of Poland's electricity. And in the time it took me to tell you that, it's burned six tonnes of coal, one per second. Bowing to public pressure and protest, the plant's owners now agree they want to leave coal. But how and how soon? 2030, we are going to switch off uh, the f first of the units and we slowly try to move to another source of, uh, of generation. It may be gas, maybe nuclear plant. We don't know at the moment. Today, just a week out from the COP conference, UN figures suggest we're heading for a 16% rise in greenhouse gases in the next decade, instead of the 45% reduction required to be delivered by the coming summit. Bluntly, that means replacing coal power and all this with wind turbines, solar, possibly small-scale nuclear. The COP conference to demand it, the EU partly to fund it. And we are here in this huge coal power plant and we should have shut it down a long time ago. Greenpeace scaled the water cooler here three years back when Poland hosted the COP climate conference and talked of using coal for 200 years. That thinking has gone. But Greenpeace are suing the power company right now. They say the plant must shut by 2030, not begin shutting down. From the climate perspective, this is absolutely necessary to phase out coal in all Europe by 2030. Dot. There's no discussion about that. This is something that must happen in Poland, in Germany, in Czech Republic, in all uh, coal-burning countries still. And this is doable. The scale of this place is overwhelming. Half a million tons of steaming brown lignite coal await the generators. Over 10 miles of conveyors march out across the forest to the giant open cast pits, themselves eight miles across. Shut down this place tonight and you'd feel the effects not just across Poland, but across Europe. Definitely we have uh, some, some power shortage in some areas of the country, maybe even in Europe. We export every day about between one and 2,000 uh, megawatts to, to, to our neighbors. So if we switch it off this plant, there will be a big problem in, in, in other countries. And at least 12,000 jobs here are at stake, but the science is unarguable. Today's World Meteorological Organization report says climate heating gases hit record levels in 2020 despite the COVID shutdown. Carbon dioxide pollution is 50% higher than before coal burning lit the Industrial Revolution. All Europe can phase out coal in electricity by, electricity by 2030. Obviously, we will have other sources of energy that are still polluting, for example, gas for some time. But, you know, this is a next step that must happen, must happen very fast, because of that kind of places, we're still on the path to a disaster. But Poland will need money to deliver. So this is Europe's starkest battleground for that key COP conference strategy. How? to fast track the world's dirtiest fossil fuel from sunset to oblivion. So you get the message, countries need to consign coal to history, something our government has repeatedly told other governments. But despite that, there are still plans to open a new coal plant in Cumbria. Well, today the Prime Minister seemed to say that that may now not happen. Boris Johnson was taking questions from children at a meeting at Downing Street where media were not invited, but it was filmed by their own cameras. Um, 
I just wanted to ask a really quick question, whether you're still going to support new coal mines being created in the UK? Uh, we don't want to, to support new coal mines, uh, but what we want to do is to continue our progress towards zero, uh, a zero carbon future, and, and that's, our, that's our approach. Well, the Downing Street spokesperson said that the Prime Minister was speaking generally, not necessarily about the proposed Cumbria mine. But he said what he said. Make of it what you will.